it seems like the uh, given all these details that we're getting, it's still a mystery, but it seems like perhaps more and more foul play is at work yeah. here. Yeah, this is really starting to look like foul play. It's hard to see how in an accident so many things could simultaneously go wrong, how the plane could continue to be flown. If it's true that the uh, navigational transponders were turned off, that would require a deliberate act by someone who knew what they were doing. So at this point, all the sides are pointing, pointing to foul play. Uh, what, what is important, though, to say there is still a lot of uh, contradictions in the publicly available information and fragmentary information. And uh, these things, I think, is, we haven't seen the last twist and turn in this story? Uh, uh, no, we haven't. And I want to talk a little bit about that coordination because uh, these are several countries involved in this. Uh, the United States is not leading this investigation. It's the Malaysian authority, the Malaysian government uh, that is. Is that somewhat hampering the yeah, process? Yes, here? it is. Uh, so uh, Malaysia uh, is not known to be an extremely competent uh, government, and this is a very complex investigation. It has several different tracks, one looking at the aviation technology and the way the aircraft operate, but the second now looking at the human dimension, analyzing the people, the manifest, their histories, if there, they, any of them had a motive, if any of them were connected to international terrorist organizations or criminal syndicates. That's really beyond the capacity of the Malaysian government to do on its own. Nonetheless, th these governments are very protective of their prerogatives of and won't want other countries, including the United States, stomping around in their own investigation of, frankly, their airline and their citizens. Uh, Richard, you mentioned uh, on the airplane, though, that uh, it looks like it was de that some of these systems were deliberately turned off. Who has the right to do that? It's, it's a, the pilot. It's a good question. The pilot or the ground crew acting uh, in, in conjunction, but certainly someone who had a, a you know, deep knowledge of that aircraft. Um, no, but on the plane, it's just the pilot? Yeah, it, the, I, presumably the pilot and the co-pilot were okay. able to do it. I don't know if the head, uh, the stewards were able to do it, but probably the pilot and co-pilot. So those are the two focal points of the investigation, is who are these guys? What were they up to? Did they have any motive to do this? Do they have any history of connection? with terrorist organizations? Do they have a psychological history of problems or something like that? Um, it is, suicide is a possibility. Uh, there, there have been other cases in aviation history where the pilots have essentially committed suicide by crashing the plane. But this is almost too complicated for that. But wouldn't, right, I was going to say, I mean, uh, that would have been a sudden action uh, in which people on the right. airplane could not have reacted to. Right. But if this airplane was flying for several hours, uh, exactly. So this some, really points. Some, what was it, going it, on it, in that airplane? It points to possibly a hijacking, maybe a, a, some sort of kidnapping of one of the passengers, maybe an, a theft, extortion, or a terrorist attack. And it's conceivable that this plane was going to be used in the style of the 9/11 attack, flown into a skyscraper somewhere. All these things. We've got no evidence uh, indicating any of these scenarios at this time. Uh, and yet, Richard, if it was a terrorist attack, or, or if it was something along the lines of, as you mentioned, what uh, what a 9-11, wouldn't we have heard uh, chatter uh, you know, w would there not have been other, you know, other types of correspondence? Uh, we, not necessarily. It's possible, and that's something the intelligence community will be going through right now intensively to try to determine that. If it is a terrorist plot, it's unusual for these things to be done in isolation by a single individual. Usually there is some sort of network of orchestration behind them, and that would be a keen interest to governments to find out who was really behind this in, in the event they might try to do it again. Uh, and you believe we will find? Yeah. We will we get, find eventually, you get to the bottom of these things. This has already gone on as this huge global mystery for far longer than yeah. any of us anticipated. I'm confident we will get to the bottom of this at some point.